I'll write down the timestamp for 4.4, the final great foe of a content creator for one hour, nine minutes, and 45 seconds. Ooh, 1945. Very bad year. Hello, Nerd Wars. I hope you're doing well, my good man. Uh, <laughs> this guy's, this guy's video highlighting the fellowship for the great force that it is. Great guy. If I haven't made him a rising star, he should be. But I do believe I've made Nerd Wars a rising star, a fine creator. The more people like Nerd Wars, the better. The door is always open for him on reality based and speaking of reality based i might as well promote myself since a fine creator is here because it's a rare opportunity you can find me on youtube here and you can also find me on twitter at ryan roger Athe. all one word i believe and uh, yes i'm 24 but i look like i'm 48 but i will outlive you all i'm well, 38 and i look mm. like i'm 28 apparently mm. well I folks so. folks i'll tell you a secret for this final section video of the four great foes. Um, there's a reason Will wears a hat. He's bald. It's Tim Pool syndrome. <laughs> yeah, I shaved my head. Uh, well, I used to anyway, right now. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm not going to be weird about it. I'm half bald. Yeah. Uh, but that's actually not why I wear this hat. Um, oh. I would have worn any hat. But the reason I wear this hat with the Triforce on it is because I'm a huge Zelda mark. And um, because when I first started the channel, I was very aware that I was uh, just sitting in a living room that mm -hmm. wasn't mine. It was a rented condo and I had no control over what was the decor. So I thought uh, if people are going to take me seriously as a as a geek, as a nerd, as a someone who professes to know a thing or two about what I'm talking about, I better have something, a gimmick of some kind that, that you know, like people I don't have. <laughs> well done. I don't have, um, you know, I don't have a room full of toys, or I didn't anyway. Uh, and I, all my stuff is still in storage in England, and it's waiting to be shipped here this year. Um, mm -hmm. At which point, then I will have all my games, all my toys, all my collectibles, all my DVDs, all my manga books and stuff, you know. But uh, I didn't have any of that stuff, and I, I thought if I am just Mister Joe Average sitting in a chair talking like I act, like I know about what I'm talking about, people might not believe me. So I thought, okay, well, I'll get something that's suitably niche um that mm -hmm. it's not exactly easy to get just anywhere and stick it on my head and it was this this hat this exact hat which is now starting to uh need replacing make it a term folks tim pool syndrome people wearing hats to cover up the fact that they're losing their hair uh, i i'm just going to do a quick uh, impersonation of it <laughs> I'm going to do a I'm going to do a quick impersonation of a fellow creator. You have to figure out who it is. I don't give a damn. I talk about woke nonsense. I have big goggles and dress up in a gimp suit. Who am I? <laughs> oh, I wish he was watching. He'd be fucking having a great time in the <laughs> chat. <laughs> oh my, my feet are killing me. But in all seriousness, folks, the final great foe of a content creator, and that's staying in the video that we'll be cutting up, is uh, consistency and dedication. Now, this is linked to, to scheduling, but it is its own thing because it is a it is a creator foe that you can't really conquer. Uh, in a sense, you always have to be dedicated. You always have to be consistent. The solution I've found is to keep on going and keep on growing. Uh, the problem is... You die, and I die. We all die. So you can't really conquer it. Hence, it's the the biggest creator foe. Of course, you can have channels that are multi-generational, just like with companies. But look at Disney. 100 years. Is it going well? No. Oh, but, God. <laughs> That's my wheel. But, Will, how do, you, how do you handle with being consistent and, and dedicated do you think you'll be doing this in five years 10 years 20 years 30 years um, hopefully you live like that long 40 years there's actually a lot to unpack um i know yes uh i would love to still be doing something like this hopefully it was uh, hypnotic you low iq bastard <laughs> yeah 
Ah, I expect Anderson. that type of behavior from blacks, Jay. Not oh, for really. God's sake. <laughs> you absolute wanker. <laughs> I usually um, call them a trans because it's funnier. But I That's actually to... good. That, you should mm. keep that. It's like a good in-joke for people who watch mm. your channel. Um, yeah, please continue. Yeah, I mean, consistently, I mean, I already talked about it a fair bit, and I've had, I'm a terrible example because I got so completely distracted when my life got started to get in the way uh that i was gone for i don't think i uploaded there, not all at once but about six months of this year i missed completely missed because i had so much going on that i just couldn't uh, and it's, it's a lot of personal stuff i can't really go into it too much mm. but there were a lot of reasons why i completely lost my mojo in almost every avenue of my entire life this year and then got it back because i was fucking angry at myself um and um I mean, there's no, there's no excuse. There is none that you have to be consistent, especially if you mm. want to be a YouTuber, you have to upload regularly or you're irrelevant. It's just mm. how it is. That's, it's the same as anything else. I mean, if you had any, any kind of job and you were constantly taking days off, you'd get fired. Oh yes, definitely. It's, it's, it's no I, I personally, I personally found well, that mm. being financially based for me always leads to failure. So I, came up with the term reality-based to keep on going, to keep on growing, as it were. And to answer Jay's point, I was like this, because you have an IQ lower than African. Um, uh, for context, hyp Jay, hypnotic used to, in the early days, actually appear on camera wearing a complete mask disguise. His face was completely blacked out, and, mm. his, and he had light-up spiral goggle things that made mm. patterns. So that's the reference. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean... Be consistent. You have to. With anything, it's like anything else in life. I think people sometimes wonder if, like, being a YouTuber is like easy. No, no, no. It it's fucking true. is not easy. You actually <laughs> have to do stuff, and you're the only one responsible for it. And if you fail, it's on you. There's no safety net. You have to do this. If you don't, oh my god. Yeah, he actually is a YouTuber. <laughs> actually, the reason Hypnotic stopped doing the the goggles and the mask setup was because it was actually giving him headaches. Mm. Uh, so he has a legitimate reason to have stopped and, and gone the different way. And it's actually worked out really well for him mm. because his channel hot. exploded. He was he was hot under the gimp suit, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. So he had to take it off. You imagine having lights in your eyes all the time in a darkened room. It was mm. not pleasant for him i'm sure jay makes it jay makes a very good point he calls me retarded he says it's got nothing to do with iq but he can't spell retard spell retard. yeah yeah <laughs> you retoss anyway um mm. i mean there's there's nothing to say really i i'm not very good at being consistent but i have got to a point now where uh the concept of stopping again pisses me off so much mm. that that um you know it, there's nothing worse than being disappointed in yourself um and you know when i, I th also like uh, as, as i was og alumnus on snh mm -hmm. um and then i missed half the year's shows and by the time i came back there was a whole bunch of new people and you there in fact it was you and your reality based uh, not reality based your rising star video that, that you made about me uh, earlier this year I saw it and when I saw it I was kind of shamed into starting again because <laughs> cuz you were saying like this guy should be growing he should be doing really well his stuff is good and I was like mm. okay you're right I should be doing this why am I not doing this like why am I letting everything get in the way so and and even then it still took I still ended up taking like 2 months off after that but mm -hmm. before I finally really seriously put my foot down and said i'm going to do this because i love it uh, this is will of the fans comic relief crusader Hello. comic relief crusader was a regular of reality based comics hopefully he will be again we're moving the show to uh saturdays hopefully mm. you can you can make saturdays at 9 p.m uk time which is 3 p.m central great guy fine creator and artist and uh, yeah, the more people we can bring together, the better. Pooling audiences to ensure that we can all keep on going and keep on growing to the best of our limited abilities. But uh, you're all getting old. I am younger than all of you, and I will write all of your obituaries. Gone but not forgotten. 
<laughs> you do make me mm. laugh, mate. Good. Good. Uh, yeah, it's so like I guess we can probably wrap up. Go on. Mm. It's good to have uh, comparisons, but uh, just know it's better to compare yourself to who you were yesterday rather than compare yourself to someone else. And for me, the uh, the 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 point is not growth; it's survival. Because, yeah. well, the more support you gain, the more opposition you'll gain, and the more opposition you gain, the more likely you'll get perched. That's why I can say black lives don't matter. Wakanda forever. We was Kangs and shit. And uh, yeah, you have the, you Atreus have the intellectual capacity of a parsnip, also known as an Ethiopian. But uh, yeah, no criticism, <laughs> no criticism, nothing wrong. And he just looks at me and and speaks ghetto or whatever the fuck. But uh, yeah, yeah, brilliant, fantastic. And it's good to know that because inspiration is a power unto itself, and it shows that if we can do it, you can do it. And if you can do it, other people can do it. That's why many, many fellow creators at around our level of growth were inspired by more prominent creators. And hopefully someday it's soon, hmm, the people who watch us will be inspired to make videos themselves and start channels themselves. That's but, it. Um, we're the next generation. That's all. I mean, like, hmm. like I mean, I'm not going to make any secret of the fact that I'm a big fan of channels like No Riot Geeks and Gamers, Mauler, people like that. I love these guys. I love what they do. In fact, it was them saying, "Start a channel. We need more. We need more voices." That's why I actually started hmm. to think. You know what? I should be doing that. I should. I'm. I could do that. You know. I want to fight. I don't want to sit and watch the world burn. You know. I want to fight back. I want to say this is lies. This is bullshit. And, and um, as for comparisons, um, I've been compared to Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers because of the hat and because I have quite an abrasive, sweary personality when I <laughs> get going. Um, so I guess that's fair. I think some people said, like, mm. um, somebody said to me, if Hypnotic is Yellow Flash, then I'm Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. And I was like, well, okay, great. Well, then I'm I love Ryan that guy. Canel, He's awesome. Because you probably I'm are, Ryan right? <laughs> Because all the Ryan's racist for some reason. Yeah. But I'm not a nuclear engineer who looks uh, a quarter of his age when he doesn't have a beard. There's a reason that man doesn't cut his fucking beard because he'd look like a child like he used to. Oh, it's well, true. well, hopefully God. he's paying you well, my good man. And from one Ryan to another, uh, tell RKO to fix that nuclear reactor. Before it goes boom, but uh, okay, on that yeah. note, on that My note, ladies, uh, yes, he is great guy. Is Randy Orton as is Ryan Cannell. So I'll write sure. down. I'll write down now point five, which is topics of the day. Five point one. I think this is going to be the only one for topics Probably. of the day. It's Doctor Who related because it's based on on our guest's primary motivation currently on his creator journey so i'll write that down for a solid one hour 22 minutes no 23 minutes we'll just do probably that how long i could talk about it without stopping <laughs> well, i'll tell you all this a sort of reality based exclusive is timestamps which we cut some of them up to make videos reality based presents videos and we also have a reality based exclusive called me on other shows where you can literally find me on other shows and uh, if those shows are ever privated, that's one hell of a way to make me not like you. Because I don't have the best of memory, and I want to know what the fuck I did six months ago. So uh, on that note...